Hello guys and welcome to Daddy Share Space and welcome to my shop. So today I'm coming to you with another unboxing. So right here I have the Milwaukee Fuel. It is a 18 volt compressor. We're gonna go right ahead and open the box up and see what comes inside. This is what it's looking like on the inside. Pull it out. So the package comes with the unit itself. It has a little filter here. We have here, and then we've got our directions. Finally, we have just some Milwaukee literature, some scan the wind codes. All right, so taking a look at the compressor. Well, first let's go ahead and visit the specs. So it is the quietest cordless compressor per Milwaukee. Apparently it's easy to transport i.e. it has this handle here so you can carry it about. You can get up to 1600 nails per charge. So it's not actually specifying the, what size nails or what type of nail gun that you would be using to get those 600, 1600 uh, nails per charge. It has the Red Link Plus Intelligence. Um, it runs off of the 18 volt battery as I said before. It's got, it's got a power state brushless motor inside of it. And this particular device has a three-year warranty. It has an SCFM of 1.2 at 90 PSI. It has a capacity of two gallons, and that's 7.6 liters. The sound level is 68 dBs. Um, the regulator is a single turn. It's an oil-free compressor. And the dimensions are 163 inches by 18.5 inches or 412.8 millimeters by 469.9 millimeters. It's about 10.3 inches tall and it weighs 31.2 pounds or 14.2 kilograms. And as far as the height is concerned, that's 261.6 millimeters. Now this is a tool only version. Now right out the bat, let me just kind of take a look at this here. You've got your power button, your on off switch here. It's a toggle. You've got a your PSI setting from zero all the way up to it looks like 130. Here you have a gauge for the pressure in the tank. It's got some rubber hoses here connecting, a little bit of uh, wiring on the inside. Uh, let's take a look here. Is there anything else functional on the front? This is where your battery is going to go and according to the box it says that it takes all M18 batteries so we'll test that out with the 12 amp hour battery and put it in there and see um, how it does. Back here on the back you've got the release valve to let out the extra air and then you've got these rubber feet on the bottom here so that it can sit you know flush like this now one of the things i was considering doing was getting a basically a pack out one of the trays the the tray tops and seeing if i can fasten this to that so that i can actually pop it in on my pack out which would make it even more portable if i can roll it around on one of those so i may pick one of those up we'll see but for right now um the reason why I picked this up was because my wife was complaining about my other compressor which is a central pneumatic it's a 21 gallon two and a half horsepower compressor and it gets pretty loud so um, when my wife's upstairs in her office which her office is kind of upstairs above the um, the garage and so when I have it going off uh, she can't do the things that she wants to do in her office so she told me I should get something that's quieter and get rid of that one. We won't be getting rid of that compressor, but uh, we will try to use this one um, for basically minor shop cleanups. And I do plan on using my, you know, trying out my Harbor Freight nail guns that I've had for an eon, but I haven't used at all. Just a short little story. Basically, my first nail gun was actually this Ryobi back here, this Airstrike Ryobi. 
and I wanted to get all of the Ryobi nail guns back then, but um, it was so much cheaper to get the Harbor Freight uh, compressed air guns. And so I actually have a whole set. I have the framing nailer back over here. I have um, the stapler, the um, brad nailer, and then also, um, what is this here? So we've got the brad nailer. And I also have the finish nailer as well. So um, I haven't used those at all in the shop. However, uh, this will give me the ability to do uh, a video that I wanted to do for a while, which is basically a comparison between the um, air nailers and then also um, I can use it again. I can do it against my Ryobi nailers and then my Milwaukee nailers that I have here in the shop. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check the booklet to see about this filter installation. And then from there, we'll pop a couple batteries in it and see how it does. So this air tank has a max PSI of 135. It can do air pressure at 40 PSI at 1.7 SCFM, but 90 PSI at 1.2. It has a quarter inch coupler or quick connector. The operating temperatures are from zero degree Fahrenheit to 125 degree Fahrenheit. All right, so it looks like the air intake filter is going to screw on back here. So we're gonna go ahead and install that now. So taking a look at this uh, device a little bit closer, I can see that there's a little bit of damage right out of the box right here on the pack on the actual body of the machine. So that alone may be a reason to actually uh, return this to the shop because when you buy something brand new, you expect it to come in new condition. And as a matter of fact, let me get a closer look at that right now. So as you can see right here, you've got uh, damage right out of the box. Um, but a closer look, you've got your on off switch. You've got max uh, zero to 135 PSI. You've got your tank pressure gauge here. I install the filter right here on the actual device, on the device. And then down here, you've got your battery compartment. You've got some bushings down here to kind of like uh, absorb some of the vibration from, um, uh, from the motor. Um, we've got the quick, uh, quick connect here, coupler. And then we've got a um, tank release here, pull pin. And then back over here, we've got the valve release to release the air from the tank. Handle, obviously, your two gallon tank. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the Milwaukee. This is model number 2840-20. It's the tool only. Now this right here is a little bit um, concerning for me, the three year warranty. I would have liked to have seen the five year warranty. However, well, you know, we'll see. We'll give it a try and see if it's worth um, keeping. I did pick this up because it was on sale uh, for, I think it was like $30 off. So uh, $349 as opposed to the normal, normal price of $379. So let's go ahead and pop a battery in it and see how things work out. So here I have two batteries. I have the 12 amp hour battery and then I have a 5 amp hour battery. Let's pop it in just to see how loud this thing is. I'm going to go ahead and put it to 90 PSI. So it's a few minutes to fill up. We are sitting on the top here at the tank pressure is about 130. Let me grab a hose and plug it in. Quick couplers in. Let's give it a shot.
Let's see, so that's the finish nailer. Let's give it a shot with the pin nailer. And the narrowly. So you can see here, um, one of the um, framing nailers or nails didn't go all the way down, but the other two are, you know, fairly flush. You can see the staplers are all the way in and everything else is sunk beneath the surface. So obviously this little compressor is delivering enough power definitely to run the crown stapler um, and also the brad nailer the uh, pin nailer and the finish nailer or the brand nailer here the pin nailer the finish nailer and then finally the stapler the um, framing nailer you know you could get away with it but it looks like only one of the three framing nails are uh, flush with the surface there but overall I would say it's not a bad outing for this particular compressor now my concern with this particular compressor is how long will it last. Um, I did see some reviews. Overall, it looks like it gets pretty good, like four out of five stars, four and a half out of five stars on the Home Depot website. However, when I read some of the complaints, it's basically that it's not holding air later into its life cycle. So um, that is a concern. Well. Let me not even say later into the life cycle. Let me just say basically, they say that um, somebody said that they used it a few times and then when they went to use it again, it wasn't holding air. Um, I looked up the DeWalt FlexVolt version and similar complaints. So it could just be, you know, this particular type of device and how it works and functions that it's not able to hold up over time however just to give a comparison as far as noise um, let me fire up my other compressor and you can hear the difference in sound So with that little bit of work, this four amp hour battery, which was fully charged, is now depleted, is down to one bar. Let's go ahead and put this uh, 12 amp hour battery in. The machine is pretty, it's pretty warm. So anyways guys, this has been my unboxing and overview of this Milwaukee M18 
compressor. It's definitely gonna bring down the decibels of the sound with me using a compressor. I still will keep my big compressor. However, um, it will be reduced to jobs that require that level of performance. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised with what I see so far. It's able to run all of my air nailers. It's able to utilize the air blower uh, quite well. Um, I also have a an attachment so that I could actually pump up bike tires so I'll be giving it a run with that as well so um, overall I'm you know so far I'm happy with it and I look forward to using this with my nailers in some of my little builds because even though battery nailers are nice um, they are significantly heavier when you compare them to their um, they're air powered brethren so I think in the shop it would be nice to kind of use some of the air tools with this smaller compressor because it's not quite as loud anyways guys um, be looking forward to a video coming up soon where I'll kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison comparing the Ryobi nailers with the Milwaukee nailers with my Banks Harbor Freight nailers thanks for taking time to watch the video see you in my next one take care